Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a continuation in my liquid lipstick review series that you guys seem to love so much. And today's product is going to be Pretty Zombie Cosmetics Liquid Matte Lipsticks. I got this in the color Transylvania. Um, the name is written right up here. It's a really, really pretty, really cool purple, um, like cool toned purple. I got to break out my uh, Kat Von D Mi Lo Mi Vita Loca palette because um, I'm working from home today. I was on the road all day yesterday with client meetings and so today I have to catch up on some paperwork and back end stuff so I can wear some fun makeup. So the drill is the same as always, guys. I'm sure some of you are sick of hearing that. I have exfoliated my lips with my Ava Anderson lip scrub prior to doing my makeup. And then I moisturized my lips with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm to let my lips drink it in while I was doing the rest of my makeup. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush with whatever product is left from doing my makeup and just go over my lip area. I like to do this step so I don't have like a red ring around my lips. So I swatch this on the back of my hand with a few of my eyeliners and lip liners. I think the closest one I have to it is going to be my OCC in Black Dahlia, which this is one of my favorite lip liners. I love this color. So let me line the outside of my lips. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna zoom in to show you guys how this applies. And I'm gonna try to move my mirror a little closer so I'm not like out of frame. So this is my first impressions of this too, besides swatching it on my hand. So these have a very faint smell of a pool, <laughs> what I call it, like that chlorine smell, which is just a very light chemical scent. Nothing really lingering, but um, definitely doesn't smell like cake or vanilla or anything. Wow, these are super pigmented. Um, one swipe coverage, I'm really impressed with that so far. They're beautifully pigmented. Just like in all my review series, guys, I will not touch this or retouch this, apply a gloss, anything like this for the next eight hours. I will do my first check-in in four hours and then the last check-in in the additional four hours, giving it a total of eight hours worth of wear. Again, as always, in my first check-in, I will give you the rundown on the details of the product, shipping times, cost, weight, all of that stuff. It is currently 11.51. I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, it's 4.14, roughly four hours after initial application. I feel like I kind of look like Ursula today. I have some bright colors going on in the lips and with the eyes, I feel like it makes me look extra pale. I'll zoom in here in a second to show you, but let me check this out pretty good. It uh, remained really comfortable to wear on my lips. I did eat some chicken off a fork and I drank some water out of a straw. So a little on the inside there. Have remained really pleasant to wear. Um, one thing I will note is they do have a slight tackiness feeling to them still, um, which is I think one of the things that's providing the comfort of them. Okay guys, now for some details on these. Um, I believe they're only available uh, to purchase over their website, which I will link below, which is prettyzombiecosmetics.com. The cost of these is $12 with the exception of one that is $13, and I'll get into that in one second. These are available in 11 colors, which are all $12 except for one, which is spellbound, which is considered a stain. I only find one, maybe two of these colors, quote unquote, work appropriate. Uh, the rest of the colors are either nighttime colors or pretty bold and unique colors like this. You are getting seven grams of product and on their website, they say these have a shelf life of six to nine months. These are vegan and cruelty free and it also states on their website, no returns just in case you guys are curious. It states clearly on their website that these are not smudge proof and these are not transfer proof, uh, with the exception, the exception of that one stain they have called Spellbrook, in case I said Spellbound before, it's Spellbrook. They ship anywhere in the US for a flat shipping rate of $4.99. They ship anywhere in Canada for a flat rate of $10 and everywhere else their website says for $11. There's no tax assessed on this. I'm assuming it's built into the price. So for the $12 lipstick, the $4.99 shipping my total came to $16.99. I paid with PayPal the ship from West Palm Beach Florida. 
I ordered at like 9.30 at night on September 9th. On September 10th, I had a shipping notification with tracking and I received this on September 14th via USPS, which is the postal service. Even though these claim that they're not smudge proof or anything, I'll do the kiss test at the end of this and show you also if they layer well. The name of each one of these is printed on the handle. When this came, this had a plastic um, sleeve on there to kind of show that no one had opened it and a little slip that had the ingredients in there was attached to the top there. This is a small indie company, um, so I'm not expecting any like over the top packaging as well as for the price. So far so good. I will see you guys in another four hours. Hey guys, so it is 8.04, roughly eight hours after initial application. I'm gonna zoom in to show you guys the wear. Even though they stated on their webpage that these are not smudge proof or transfer proof, I'm really impressed with the way they held up. So I'll get a little closer, but if you guys can see just right in here, Right on the inside of my lip there, it's faded. That's pretty much it. Just right in there. Okay, so now let's do the kiss test. There's nothing on the back of my hand. Okay, this did have some transfer right there, you can see, but I mean, nothing crazy. I have some that claim to be smudge proof, transfer proof, and they're all over my face. So that's pretty good. So let me give this a shake and I'm gonna go over and touch up the area. Let me zoom in while I do that on where it wore off. Right there on the inside part. Yeah, these layered really nice. For those of you keeping score, I'm going to leave my updated list right here. I'm going to keep these in the green zone, but I'm going to put these at number eight uh, below my colored rain and just for a few reasons on that. One, it did transfer, although slightly, which I don't really mind as much. Um, I have other ones above that that don't transfer. But um, I'm not a huge fan of their color selection. Like I like it for all this crazy stuff and like more bright vampy lips, but for everyday wear, they're not very practical. I will still probably collect all the colors that they have that I don't have anything like that. Um, and I'm impressed because since they said that they're not transfer proof or kiss proof, I mean, Again, I have companies that say that they are and they smear all over my face. So this one held up really well. It's remained very comfortable on my lips to wear. Um, I am happy with my purchase and I will purchase more colors of theirs for ones that I don't have. Like I did see that they have some really cool blue colors and they had a really vampy kind of berry color that I'll likely get. I have to finish editing my extension video to post for you guys. I haven't had a chance to yet because it's a lot of information and I was kind of all over the place so I'm trying to like edit it down. Um, so it's not so long. So um, I'm gonna post that one next after this video and then um, the next one I'm going to do is their gl galactic lip paint that uh, you guys asked me to do. I hope you guys found this review helpful. If you guys like this video, please remember to subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time guys, bye.